Happy Frugal Friday, K-Squad. This video is hopefully gonna be on the shorter side and low key because I know that you have so much going on right now. A lot of you are writing me that you're feeling the stress of the holidays, you're feeling the pressure financially, socially, all of the above. So the last thing I wanna do is give you more things to do this week in particular. So this is meant to be a friendly, frugal reminder, your weekly dose of frugal inspiration, but also just a little pre-holiday pep talk. In order to have a less stressful, frugal holiday, let's consider the following. The first thing is, what's most important? What's most important for my family is that we get to spend time together. I have family flying in from other states, and this is the time that we actually get to look each other in the eye and hug and talk and be in each other's presence. It's very special, and that's the most important part of this. The second thing, let's face it, is the food. Hello. We can't overshadow the fact that we are looking forward to some yummy, delicious appetizers, snacks, the whole thing, we're into it, right? So as a frugal person, for my Christmas Eve party that I host, I ask that everybody does a potluck. Please bring your favorite dish to the party to contribute. I let them know ahead of time. I will have my delicious meatballs waiting for you in the crock pot. And if I have other stuff that I'm cooking up, I will let them know, hey, I'm gonna have this for appetizers. What I actually did is I started a group text with the family. I said, hey guys, we're meeting at this time. This is what I've got. Please just drop in this messenger what you're gonna bring so that we know what's coming and we'll see what's missing and we'll fill in the blanks. The next thing to consider is drinks. What are you gonna drink? Are people drinking? What are they drinking? And what I do, again, is I let the people know. I let my people know I'm gonna have Pinot Grigio. I'm gonna have this red wine. If you want something other than the wine, bring what you'd like. You could even pick like a true signature drink if you're creative, like a holiday Mai Tai or a candy cane cocktail or Grinch juice, or whatever you think would be most popular amongst your family members, and provide that one drink instead of having like a full bar, instead of having that responsibility and that stress of being like, oh, well, this one likes gin, and this one likes vodka, and this one likes wine, and this one, who knows, right? Let them know, this is what I've got. If you want anything else, bring it. Let's get festive. Next, as a frugal person, Use what you have. Remember that, again, the focus is people and a little food, okay? So the decorations are great. If you've got some decorations you can put out and make it festive, that is awesome. But don't feel like you have to have the best tree on the block, the best wreath on your door, if you don't have those Christmas figurines, you are failing your family somehow. You aren't, you guys. And once the party gets rolling after they walk in and the, they're going to be into your conversation. The, the point of the party isn't to have nice things. It's to be together and have that experience, right? So don't feel like you're lacking. Don't feel like you're not enough. Don't feel like you don't have enough. You are enough just the way you are and you have plenty. Put out what you've got and make the experience about the people there and not the stuff surrounding you. Next, set the mood. And you don't have to break the budget setting the mood. I tell Alexa, hey Alexa, play Christmas music. Boom, Christmas music fills the air. It's not like back in the day you have to make like a mixtape of your favorites, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have Alexa, Put a playlist on your phone using YouTube. You can play Christmas music on your desktop or your laptop, anywhere, right? Just have some music in the background to feel the vibes. Make sure you clean your home, you guys. You don't have to have the biggest house in the neighborhood. You don't have to have the best furniture. 
you just got to tidy up and clean it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure it smells good. To add to that, maybe burn a candle or whatever kind of scent things you've got going on. Maybe you've got a little balsam smell kicking around when they walk in. Maybe it's just enough to have the smell of the yummy foods. But create a mood. Again, doesn't cost a lot. Clean up, put on some tunes, and make it smell delicious. If ideally you would love to have a relatively stress-free holiday, type in the comments, stress-free. Let's put it out into the atmosphere so that we all feel the stressless vibes and the wonderful holiday spirit. Enter in and focus on what's important. Another thing I want to touch on is perhaps if your holiday is super stressful, soften the formality of your party. It doesn't have to be those long tables that you see on Pinterest with the perfect table napkin holders and the plates and the chargers and the centerpieces. You don't need that, my friends. If that's your thing and you love it, do it. If you've got it, it's in the budget or you already have it in your home and that is what really delights you, then go for it. Do a full spread. But for those of you that that stresses you out, you don't have these things on hand. You might even have to go buy things. Don't do it. Nobody's looking for perfection. They're looking for a space to gather, love on each other, have some laughs, have some fun. You don't need all that. If you've got it, awesome. If you don't have it, do you know what we do? We sit all around. My house, I, we're downstairs, we're upstairs. Everyone's milling about. We've got our plates of food. We'll sit down for a little bit. Some will be on the couch. Some people sit on the floor. Some people are at the table. We just kind of go where we feel like. We hang out with someone, then we move around. We are free to go where we want, but it's not formal. It feels fun. It feels free. And we just do what we want. And it doesn't take away anything from the experience. So if like you feel like it's real like kind of tight and stuffy and you're you're trying to make everything so perfect, you don't have to do that, guys. I just want to take that pressure off your shoulders. No holiday is going to be perfect. The magic is going to come from your presence. The magic is going to come from you caring. The magic is going to come from the way you're treating your your guests, you know? It's not about a perfect table. It's not about the perfect decor. It's about the experience you have all together and feeling that gratitude and contentment that you get to have this. If you wanna see a holiday tradition that my family does every year, I'm gonna leave my bonus bag video for you right here. If you want my three ingredient meatball recipe, I'm going to leave a video right here. If you want to start preparing for no spend January, I'm going to leave a video right here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to leave a little circle for you right here to click on so you never miss a video going forward. I wish you the best holiday season. I will be back next week as we prepare the final days before no spend January. And we're also going to talk about our words of the year. So if you don't have a word of the year yet and you want to kind of set the tone for the year, go ahead and think about that. And we're going to talk about that more next week. I cannot wait to see you next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Thank you, K-Squad, for being here. Bye, guys.